Good morning and welcome to my fish farm in my garden area. Just giving my koi a bit of a feeding. So here we go. I feed my koi on a tasteful diet of shogun, shogun pellets, six more pellets. Um, as you can see, they are literally going berserk over it. A bunch of piranhas. If you can see it nicely there. Yeah, all the koi. They love the stuff. Um, even though it's a bit nippy today, yeah, they're feeling like monsters today. While I eat it, I thought I'd just give her a tour of a little fish pond. So, and the setup. Yeah, just. With a fish pond, we've got two outgoing waterfalls. Um, I've got a surface skimmer. And below the water, which you won't be able to see now, I've got a retrofitted bottom drain, which in plain and simple terms, sucks up all the dirt and debris off the bottom of the fish pond sucks it back to the pump through the basket I should say through the pump to the sand filter uh, and then from the sand filter the koi sand filter I should say it filters through to bio filters I've got uh, biological filters through two biological filters through a UV light an ultraviolet light which then uh, sand, which then goes through this, the UV light which sterilizes the water in a, in a sense and then returns back to the pond so just around the pond I've got a couple of bonsai trees it's winter so not the greatest time of year to show you that show them off to you I've um, got some water irises here in the shallow end of the pond um, yeah down here so this pond um, when I moved into this house just over a year ago I had to do a bit of alterations uh, to its, you know, to its whole filtration system um, because it just wasn't up to up to standard. It was too much maintenance. The surrounding garden there was a lot of leaves and debris falling in. Um, it had submersible pumps were which were a complete nightmare to try and service. Kept getting clogged up with leaves. So essentially, um, in this corner of the pond, I used to have a um, surface skimmer linked to a submersible pump which had to be cleaned on a daily basis now as you can see I've got a surface skimmer here I see a leaf stuck there so it is working uh, connected to a bag so that bag just needs to be cleaned out once a week so essentially that is the fish pond it's uh, just under 20,000 liters in capacity it's about 1.3 1.4 meters in depth in the deep end where the fish are feeding now and um, down to the shallow end down here which is about just over a meter so the pond itself is about four and a half meters long almost five meters long um, and it's about three meters wide so going going to the to the bits and pieces and the the heart of the machine uh, and how it all works here we go so these two large um, these are two 50 liter capacity ultra zap biological filters now that's on the outlet of the water going out essentially that is my 50 foot my 55 watt um, UV light which sterilizes the water as it comes out the pump goes through this through all of this goes through up this channel into the biofilter 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 an outlet which is then split two splitters down there you can see one there one there and control valves one for the waterfall one down there for the surface skimmer one down there for the main waterfall so essentially three um Three valves controlling the whole water flow to this pond so it's a very simple system but yet effective so we've got 
um, two biofilters here and inside here we've literally got a um, 0.75 kilowatt pump running the whole system uh, basically what you use in your pool uh, that basket collects a lot of the leaves and this very um, this amazing three bag koi sand filter collects all of most of the debris and waste um, very simple to service um, yeah and uh, that's essentially it and it's just covered with this weather proof box and that literally cleans the pond and keeps it very ease of very ease easily maintained so essentially summing it up water gets sucked from under near the bottom there comes up out out the pond comes all the way down the pipe runs straight down under there straight to the filter basket through the through the basket through the and the pump drives the water through then from there it goes into the sand the the koi sand filter and from there it gets filtered through comes out here it goes through various chambers here you can see and then it goes through the biofilter and on the return comes back all the way along there down to that waterfall down there to that waterfall and from here there's my cat hello heather and then from there it comes all the way down to this another outlet creating a vortex surface skimmer and that also then sucks the leaves through there back to that pump basket too however as a double up this does have a bag on it to capture all the leaves so essentially the pond is um, maintained clean all year round very low maintenance very effective um, and the cheapest system one can actually get cheapest most effective way if you ever want to convert your swimming pool into a koi pond this is what i'd recommend no no digging required with this retro bottom drain it's essentially a, a surface mount pipe and the drain is at the bottom and ever since i've done that all the debris that used to collect in the deep end um, is sucked up because it's got such high um, suction from from the power of, of the motor that creates that um, extra force of suction one needs but yeah that's just a little bit of a tour of my pond and how it works so yeah have a great day and uh, stay safe and enjoy. Cheerio for now. Bye.